Uh, hi all. Uh, as uh, you are aware of uh, my uh, uh, first uh, YouTube, uh, where I have given you my uh, whole introduction part. Okay, this is my second version. Like, uh, just I would like to help you out, uh, people. Like, uh, how best we can work in industries. Okay, so what kind of uh, testing process, real testing process, we are going to follow? Okay, how best we can do the work with respect to QA. Okay, we can do uh, the work manual as well as automation. Let me uh, let me tell you, like for example, if you uh, if you uh, want to uh, if you want to execute one project, okay. For example, uh, take one example. If I if if any for any project like which is having the spec requirement spec, what we call it as like requirement specification, what you usually call, I uh, call it as like a system study. System study in the sense uh, we we would like to go through the uh, uh, whole specification. So we would like to understand the flow of the functionality. How how the functions are getting flowed from login to logout to login to logout imagine that i would like to execute 70000 functionality once i log into the system i would like to execute 70000 functionality then i will come out okay i wanted to make sure that these 70000 functionality should work as per expected to make sure these uh, 70,000 functionality to work as per expected, what kind of testing process I'm going to follow? Okay, what are the methods? So, how, how I'm going to handle this? Okay, it is one of the best opportunity for the people who are looking out for the real kind of testing experience. Okay, once you work the way I used to guide, Definitely, you will become an individual contributor. You will go to the company. You will get select inside the company 200%. And you will work independently. Just you will ask one requirements. Give me one requirements. I will take care of testing activities. That much of confidence level will come to you. Okay. Let me share. Let me share uh, some of the things which will help you out. Okay. So... Okay, see here, whenever, suppose I'm, I'm a tester, I, I joined to the company, what I have to do? First, I will get the system study document, what you call it as requirement spec. So how, so I will go through, requirement spec is nothing but it will be in the, your WordPad, you will go through, you will understand the functionalities follow, I, I mean to say uh, uh, low level requirement, it will have a screenshots, it will have the functionality flow step by step. They will give all the content information in your system study. First, let me go through it. Okay. So my lead has assigned me particular module. Hey, can you work on this particular module? So I will go to, I will dig more functionality on that particular module, which lead has been assigned. For example, lead has assigned me some, some module called a settings. Let it take as a settings module. So I will go through the settings module. I will understand how exactly the flow of the functionality will work. After that, I would like to analyze it. That is, I call it as SRS analysis. You will analyze that. How, how you are going to analyze? You will, you will understand the functionality flow. Once you understand the functionality flow, we are dividing the flow into three categories. Simple flow, medium flow, and complex flow. And in that module, how many major flows are there? How many medium flows are there? How many complex flows are there? So you work with me, I will let you know on that. Okay. Once I done with the SRS analysis, so I, I will get a confidence. Yes, this settings module is having, okay, 70,000 functionality. I analyzed it. From 70,000 functionality, how many functions are major? How many functions are medium? How many functions are simple flow? Done. Okay. And how many I have the mandatory fields also. So, so I will let you know in my next uh, release of video how best we can do. So then I will start designing the scenarios. I mean to say, I will give you the template. I will explain you how to design the scenario. You work with me. Okay. So once you are done with the scenario, 
So parallelly, I would like to update the requirement traceability matrix. I will guide you how to, how to create the traceability matrix. Why we want this? What is the reason behind this? So you will be working on that. Then we will go ahead with the reviews. Reviews in the sense peer to peer review. For example, I will, I will generate a scenarios. My colleague will review it. Whatever the colleague has generated the scenario, I will review it. I call it a peer to peer review. You will be working live with me and we are following the standard process for that. So once your scenario is approved, reviewed and approved, you will start designing the cases. Okay. And parallelly, you think like parallelly you are updating the RTM with respect to scenarios. Then we will start designing the cases. Test cases we will start designing with respect to the 70,000 functionality with respect to your test scenario. We, uh, the reference document for me to design the cases are my requirement specification as well as my scenarios. Same process, we will review the test case which we have designed. Then you will get the release notes from me. I mean to say you will get the release note from the development team. Okay, this is the first iteration, first time you are executing the test cases. Then what you will do? How you are going to execute? So what exactly this build release? What, what it contains? How we are going to release the real build? You will learn from me this part. Then you will start executing the first iteration. You will start executing in front of me. I will guide you how to execute the cases. Okay, it's the first iteration. Before execution of first iteration, you need to check whether this build is perfect enough to go further or not. We call it a smoke type, smoke kind of testing. You might have heard in theory. So what is this smoke? Why we want? Why we want this? What is the use of doing the smoke testing? Okay, once I confirm, yes, this build is fine for me to go ahead further testing, definitely I will go ahead with the sanity testing. Then if I'm perfect, both of the things, yes, this is good for me. I will start executing the functional cases against the expected result, the same test cases which you have designed. You are executing them in front of the build, against the build. So once you are executing the cases against the expected result, you may come across a lot of defects. And I'm using Agile methodology tool. I will guide you how, how Agile I'm, I'm applying for this kind of process. Agile techniques. Okay, you are reporting the defects. I will guide you how to report, how to log the defects inside the tool. Why you wanted to select severity, why you wanted to select priority, whom to assign, everything you are doing. Let me help you out. Okay. Then once, see, for example, being a tester, I have executed 100 test cases. From 100 test cases, 20, 20 test cases got failed. So I need to, you need to lock 20 defects inside the defect tracking tool, which I wanted to give you an access, Agile tool access, or your Jira, whatever it might be. I'm using that. Okay. By end of the day, what is your rule? You are sending me the daily status report. I mean to say, how to send the daily status report, I will guide you. Like 100 test cases, I have a total execution of test cases are 100. From 100, 25 test cases got failed. How many test cases got passed? If it is, if it is failed, what is the defect ID that you will get from the tool? What is the severity of that defect? What is the priority of the defect? What is the status of that defect? Whether it is in new, open, everything you will learn from it. Once the execution process completed, for one iteration, first iteration, then once the defect got fixed by the dev team, I will help you out how, how, how it is going to work out. Okay, then I will release you the second build. Through the release, release notes, like how I have released you the first build, right? I will release you the second build. In the second build, in the release notes, you will get how many defect got fixed on your name. How many defects got fixed on your name and you will get the new build. Once you get the new build, first most thing is you will do the smoke testing. Because you wanted to check the build, right? Whether it is perfect enough to go ahead further or not. So once smoke is done, the immediate step, you wanted to do the retesting. How best you wanted to do the retesting? How really you wanted to do the retesting? Everything you will learn from me with the live project. Okay. Once you are done with the retesting, definitely you are going to do the regression testing because it may impact, right? What are the functionality which were working in the build one? Because of defect fixing, because of enhancement, there are so many reasons why I wanted to do the regression testing. 
because of that reason i wanted to make sure what are the functionality which were working in the build which should not get impacted because of uh, modifications in the code for fixing the defect or due to enhancement whatever it might be the reason so i wanted to make sure to do that i wanted to do the regression testing okay again by end of the day you are sending me the daily status report you are sending me the daily defect report you are sending me retesting reports you are sending me weekly status report okay see seriously i'm telling you if if you work on this process right you will be more confident you will work any kind of project without second thought guys it's very really very good opportunity for you people let me let me stop this uh, so okay it is a really very good opportunity for you people get learn from me take a help from me okay so it, it it will give you a lot of confidence the people who don't have a real experience who don't know the theoretically you can learn from you can learn from anything but when it comes to the real life when it comes to the real things definitely you need such kind of support such kind of help so i'm i'm very much happy to help you people on this so please note down my number it is 9880837005 thank you thanks for listening my uh, session and uh, it is appreciable I, i i would like to appreciate your patience where you have listened my uh, video please it's my humble request make use of it i'm happy to help you thank you thanks a lot